Okay guys, in this video you will learn how you can register your product on Amazon if the product doesn't exist on the Amazon catalog. So basically, if you are selling a product and the product it doesn't exist on Amazon and it's a brand new product that is not there, you can still create it and I'll show you how. So you remember that we go to inventory and add product and if, we, if the product is already on the system, you can search for the product here and just add it. It's really easy as I show you in the last video. If the product is not in the Amazon catalog and you want to add this to, to the this catalog as a new product, you can create a new product clicking in here. Just remembering that almost everything is on Amazon catalog, but in the case you have your own product or you made your product, you are the manufacturer of the product, you can also sell it on Amazon. And it's a really good opportunity if it's the case. So click on, on add the new, the new product and you will see here. So now you need to select the category. In this case, for this example, I'll sell a specific battery for a GoPro camera. Okay, just for this case. It's just an example. So let's see. If I go to camera and photo, and in this case, let's find here something that is around that, digital cameras and other digital cameras. Okay. I mean, you need to look in and read and pick the right category for your product just to be more precise. But for this example, this is what you need to worry about. You see that we have two tabs with the asterisk. That means these are mandatory, right? So the title first, you need to uh, put the title, GoPro Extra Battery, okay? Uh, the manufacturer name, you can put the manufacturer, I put generic for now. If you want to put the brand, the more information you put in here, the better, because the customer will have more information and more uh, ways to, to know if your product is exactly what they want. And also, guys, remember, the title is really important to use some keywords. So what's the keyword? Keyword is a word that the customer will type on the search box of the Amazon website. So if they are looking for batteries for GoPro, you need to make sure your, your title, you put, you put the GoPro word and you put the battery word because the more words you have on your title and on your keywords, as, as we will see in here, the more chance the system of on Amazon will pick your 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 page and put it on the front in front of the customer. So the more chance that they are buying from you. Okay, so you you can feel the more you feel here the better. So the manufacturer uh, the part name let's put 101. Don't worry about these uh, cases because they are not mandatory. In case you want to put here, you can select uh, what you think is right for your product. And here is the important thing. This is asking for a barcode, a UPC or EAN, okay? This is a barcode. So you need a barcode for your product. So what happened in case, let's say you are manufacturing some kind of product or I am manufacturing the, these batteries or I am buying these from China, from Alibaba, as we saw the, on the other videos, and it doesn't have a, a barcode. So I need a barcode. All the products on Amazon, they need a barcode. In, in order to sell on the website, right? But this is not having a barcode. So how we can get a barcode? Really easy. There are websites that sell barcodes and you can just go there and buy a barcode for your product, right? This barcode will be unique for you and unique for your product. So in this case, for example, one option is buyabarcode.com. I don't have any affiliation with these websites that I am showing you. It's just a suggestion so you can analyze what's better for you, for your business, and how much you want to pay and just uh, buy. So make your decision and buy. I can show you the options here. So this is saying that it's approved for Amazon.com. As you see, the Washington Post is, is talking about this website, so it looks good. And if you go to pricing here, you can see the price. And you see that you can buy one barcode for $75, mm, a little bit expensive, three for $150 and stuff like that. So let's see another options. So barcodestalk.com. So this website here, and they have a live chat and you can call them if you want. Uh, buy a UPC number. Let's take a look. 
So this is cheaper than the other website. Why? Because one barcode is $5, five, $10. So it's, this is really cheap. This is a, probably a good option for you. No annual fees. Yeah, it looks really good. Let's see another option is legalbarcodes.com. I just find all these websites on Google. So you can just Google it and you will find two. So purchase one UPC for 750. So this is 750 and you receive two. So different deals. The next one is nationwidebarcode.com. Here you can see one for 950, five for 25, so it's $5 each. And the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. So 100 for $50. This is really cheap. And the last one is codeupc.net. So in here you can click on buy barcode numbers. And uh, looks like it's one to nine codes for 995 each. So here you have the options. All these links I'll put on the bonus area of the member website. So in case you need a barcode and you don't know the links where to find that you can go to the bonus area and you will find a word document with all the links for these guys okay so let's go back here so basically you need to enter when you purchase you will receive an email with the barcode and you enter the code here and this will be you your barcode number for this specific product that you are selling okay so go next and in here the offer tab is the same that we look in the prior video when you register a product that already sees in the system. So basically the condition will be new. If you have any notes for the condition, you can put it in here. The price, I'll sell it for 50 bucks, every one of them. You can have a sales price. You, you can say, okay, for I, I'll sell it for 39.97 from this date to this date, okay? So you can run like a promotional price and that's great sometimes tax, co tax code is not mandatory but you can fill all this if you want and the main thing again is this guy here select i want amazon to ship and provide customer service for the items that i sell and when when you fill all this and you put the barcode there this button with save and finish will be enabled and you can just click on save and finish but before you click that you will also want to go to these tabs and fill this with information. Why? Because if you are selling on Amazon, your customers want more information about the product. I mean, if you don't have a picture, the chance for the customer to buy are lower. So you need to put a, a picture here. So you take a picture of the product. Uh, the conditions for the pictures are here. Some suggestions, the product must fill 85% of the image and stuff like that. So you click on add images. And when you have your image, you click browse files and you can find the files, uh, just select the file. And when you are ready, click on upload images and you will see all the pictures here. Next, we go to description. This is really important too. bullet point. So you, you, you enter your description here and this is the information that the customer will read and will help them to decide if this is the right product for them. So the bullet point is you need to you need to put some bullet points for your product so in the case of the battery i can say uh, the battery lasts for uh, two hours and the, the charging time is x minutes and stuff like that so some important facts about the the product and the description is really important of course okay so next the keywords and this is really important why because when somebody goes to amazon.com and they are looking for uh, some products, let's say they are looking for batteries for the GoPro camera, the first thing that they will do is go to the search bar and, and type battery for GoPro. So the, the search term, the keywords are the words, I can select a few words here that will help the system to pick up my, my product and show to the customer. So the more keywords related with my product that I use, the better. So in this case, I could put one uh, camera, another one I can use GoPro, another one can be battery and stuff like that. So if the customers come here and type camera, the system on Amazon will see that I have this keyword and it will pick up my, my, 
my page and show to the customer, my product and show to the customer. I mean, and if I use, ca they type camera, GoPro and battery, I have more chances to be higher ranking. So the, the more chances that the customer can see my product and can buy from me. So this is really important. Make sure you feel all these boxes here, okay? And more details, if you want, you can go here and also put the model number, dimensions, weight. This is really important too. So the, the customers can have uh, an idea of, of what they are actually getting. And this will help them to reduce the, the volume of uh, returns and stuff like that. Customer service will be easier for you. So just take a look on all these and you can fill it with the information depending on the product you are selling. And this may change depending on the category of the product. So if you are selling clothes, for sure you won't see like lithium battery, energy content or stuff like that. Okay. So when you are done with this, all you need to do is go uh, to vital info, make sure is everything's okay, that you have the barcode here and click finish, save and finish and you are done.